It's funny how sometimes things just come together at the right time, and it just seems like things are happening in sequence as if it's just. Ah, fuck. Let me try that again. It's funny how sometimes things just come together at the right time. This morning I read a comment saying it would be cool to see if you studied filmmaking or storytelling and got better with it over time and showed your progress of how you're learning something and improving and we can see that progress. And I thought that's actually a really great idea. Between those two, I would choose storytelling because I'm more interested in storytelling than just the technical aspects of having a better shot or better lighting or anything like that. I think I'm happy as is with the filmmaking, so let's focus on the storytelling. And I had no idea where would be a good point to learn about storytelling. I guess I could just start Googling. I was on my YouTuber Mastermind call with just a couple people and one of them, Antonio, was telling me how he just bought a book about storytelling less than a month ago and it's completely changed how he tells stories in his YouTube videos. He said, this book is all you need and you don't really need anything else. And I thought, that's exactly what I need. So he told me about the book. It's called Story Worthy by Matthew Dix. So I just ordered it. So we'll see. I'm going to read the book. I'm going to watch an interview that Matthew Dix does and get into the art of storytelling and become much better than I am now. I'm sure this story that I'm telling you right now could have been told way better. So we'll see how I will become a better storyteller over time. As I share in my daily videos what I've done that day, I'll try to make it more engaging or more exciting or just cut to the chase without all the boring fluff. So we'll see how my storytelling gets better. So here's to becoming a better storyteller. I'll, I'll also share insights of what I got from the book so that I can maybe help you become a better storyteller as well over time. We'll go on this journey together. Reviewing my day, I could have gone to the gym this morning because I did not have my mini mastermind small YouTube creators call, but I decided to sit on the couch with my breakfast and turn on an interview of Dr. K that my friend Gabby sent me. And I thought, yeah, once I did that, I sat on the couch with hours and hours of Dr. K ahead of me. There was no way I was going to the gym, but I will report that my butt and quads? My butt and quads are sore from yesterday's leg workout at the gym, so I'm glad that I pushed myself yesterday and got a good workout in. Tomorrow I might have a bit more time, so I'm going to try and make the second extra video of the week. I haven't fully decided on the topic, although I have a few lists of what to say, so we'll see. And lastly, I just want to say thank you for the comments that you left on my previous video where I was asking what appeal do, do my videos have and why do you watch me, especially if you've been a long time viewer? What value does my video give you? And I really appreciated all the nice warm comments that I got, every single one of them. So thank you dearly for that. Okay, so I will see you tomorrow. 1% better every day, baby. Sega. Sega. Mochi. Ah, uh, she's barking at the neighbor, probably. Tigger came for cuddles. Mm -hmm. He's purring. too dark. Can't see his face. Especially his black face. <laughs>